There's a reason RV converters are not called battery chargers, because they're really not. Hi, I'm Don Wilson, the Tech Doctor. Converters have been around the RV industry almost since the beginning. However, with their single stage output, they were always just power supplies. In fact, the earlier linear models would have a small battery output that was separate because their main DC output for the lights was so electrically noisy that they would damage batteries. The next generation ferro-resonant models were noisy and less connected to a battery, so they relied on the filtering properties of the battery to control their output voltage, but they still didn't charge very well. They also had a sordid history of low reliability. When upgrading your system to include an inverter or replacing a failed or underperforming converter, consider this. Installing an inverter with a built-in charger. Inverters are a great addition that allow you to watch TV, use a computer, or cook in the microwave without shore power connection or running the generator. Many inverters these days have a robust three-stage battery charger. Some even have temperature compensation to help extend battery life. The main benefits of a combination inverter charger are common components. Modern converters and battery chargers use transformers and transistors to do their work. Inverters also use a transformer and transistor banks. A combination inverter charger can use the same components for both functions, which prevents thermal cycling and makes for a lower overall cost than separate units. Reliable battery charging. Combination inverter chargers typically have smart, effective three-stage chargers that ensure your battery is fully charged quickly. This helps batteries to last longer and require less maintenance. Power share. Think about it. The charger is arguably the largest AC load in an RV. However, with a combination inverter charger, it can also be controlled. When demand is high, like running your microwave, the inverter can sense the heavy load and derate the charger until the microwave turns off. Then it can bring the charger up to full output again. Separate inverters and chargers can't do this. Installation is fairly easy. First, replace the converter breaker with a 30 amp breaker. Second, feed 10 gauge wire from that breaker to the input of the combination inverter charger to power the charger and the pass-through loads. Third, take the entertainment center 120 volt wires, all three hot, neutral, and ground, out of the breaker panel. Fourth, feed that through a small sub-panel breaker that is fed by the inverter, an inverter-mounted breaker, or put a male plug on it and plug it into the receptacle mounted on many inverter charger models. Last, Make sure the DC cables and fuses are sized appropriately for the combination inverter charger. Even though the new charger may be the same amperage as the old charger or converter, consider the amperage demand of the inverter, which could be more than the charger. As far as the old converter, either remove it altogether or tuck the wires away in the load center or converter compartment for those models that have the converter built into the load center and leave it there. That's pretty much it. Clean, simple installation. Just sit back and reap the benefits of inverted loads and a quality three-stage charger as a complete electrical system.